I would use the word um, typical of a high level competitor that's getting ready to go to the next step, which is a very important step. And he's gonna, you know, make it right. Um, the, the problem with today's age is, is people want to speak for everybody. Everybody's an expert with this instantaneous news that just rocket fires around the world and they see it and then they speak for Spencer Lee. And he actually handled himself um, pretty dang good. And in the locker room there was some negativity, negativity as you might imagine, um, but not from him. It was more like this hasn't ever happened before. You know, and it wasn't like it was said or even maybe something that you think about consciously. It's just it hadn't happened before. Mm -hmm. So it's like, wow, that's not how you want to start out. Okay, DeSanto, here we go. That's how my mind is. Mm -hmm. And I know the competitor that Spencer Lee is. And, and my, here's the thing with, with me is I don't really mind what you guys do however you want to do it. I'm not going to try to manage what you guys do. Um, and that includes Flow Wrestling, USA Wrestling, and these other um, news entities as well. My point is this, is when I say things, I'm talking about what's best for my team and my individuals going forward. And we are lockstep as coaches on what we're talking about. So, for instance, these media outlets, they want to read into what I said about Spencer Lee. And so it was negative. It came out negative. And it wasn't negative at all. As a matter of fact, it was way more positive when I walked in there and saw him than maybe I was getting ready for. Because it's never happened before. The guy's never been banned. Or it's very rare. So... Keep, keep talking for us. Keep, you know, having these, you know, these ideas that you think that you know what I meant and what I'm saying and what he's thinking because that's your jobs and it's awesome for wrestling because it keeps everybody relevant and I'll just keep chuckling because to say that anything negative besides what would naturally be negative when you have a high-level competitor to say that that's, there was negative stuff and brands meant this and Lee's done and this and that, couldn't be farther. So you pretty much just let Spencer be Spencer then? I let Spencer be Spencer every day of his life since he's gotten on campus here and we coach him to be the very best Spencer Lee that he can be in all areas of his life. And a big, big part of that for my job is wrestling. But there's other things as well, lifestyle. There's other things as well, his personal development. He's our ISAC rep. I don't know if there's been a better ISAC rep on campus in the history of ISAC. Now, there's been some good athletes. I mean, there's a, you know, this Gustafson that's just turning the world on its ear in women's basketball. And I don't know if she's on ISAC or not. And if she is, great. And if she's not, then great too. But what a representative from the University of Iowa. And to have two of those people on campus, Spencer Lee and Megan Gustafson, I mean, great, great for Iowa. And so where am I going? I'm going off on a tangent. No, I'm not. I'm not going off on a tangent if you are hearing what I'm saying and you don't speak for me. I'll tell you one thing. I don't need anybody speaking for me. But if you want to, it's fine by me.